Sanjay, my friend, you know I'm reading lots of books on this subject. It is a bear. It is a fucking beast. And I have tried to offer little TikToks about the key historical cadences to help other people understand this. You have to go back in history to see how we got to where we are in 2023 with Israel and Palestine. It is not just Israel that created Hamas. America created Hamas. Largely because you had some presidents who really did not understand the situation. FDR, shortly before his death, actually agreed to acknowledge the Arab people. And then Truman came in, give him hell Harry, and he totally fucked that up, disregarding this key step forward in diplomacy. Same thing with Reagan. Carter had the Camp David Accords with Began and Sadat, which... Not everybody is a fan of, but it was a step forward in diplomacy. And Reagan completely undid that, and his own fucking people, the Republicans even, said, hey, Big Gipper, you've got to uphold the terms that we agreed upon. You can't just allow him to walk over you. He just didn't understand. You have had a series of presidents enter the office who do not understand the history and do not understand the dynamic and who think that they can solve things. LBJ, similarly, uh, was disastrous in his attempts because he came in with Texas swagger. Presidential ego is one of the reasons why uh, Hamas ended up becoming what it was, because there was no attempt to uh, build off of previous diplomatic efforts. And the other person, the other entity, rather, is Palestine. And Rashid Khalidi even says this in this book, The Hundred Years War, uh, uh, The Hundred Years War on Palestine. Khalidi says that Palestine failed to read American influence right around World War II. It was at its peak right then, right? Right? Uh, we had won the war, and then 1947 happens, the 1948 Nakba happens, and Israel swoops in. Palestine did not seize that opportunity. And as such, that UN security resolution I mentioned uh, does not favor Palestine. So a lot of this ineptitude and a lot of this failure on anyone other than Israel to establish a hold and dominant influence, that's uh, one of the reasons why things escalated, just to clear things up. I, I, I Honestly, everybody's at fault here, and you have to look to America and its policies when considering this dynamic.